Hi, I'm J-Man, you're watching J-Man FPV, and this may well be the best drone with a full-size air unit on it, in a whoop size. Wanna learn more? Keep watching. So, I bought the Gepper C rocket a few months ago, I'm sure you're familiar with it, it's uh, this one. And I used all components of that one to build the new one. I actually love the rocket, but I found that there's a two uh, caveats with it. Uh, one being the short flight time. It's four minute flight time on 650 milliamp hour tattoo battery, which I find to be pretty short. Um, and the other one is power to weight ratio. So the drone uh, has difficulties catching itself when you're coming from a dive going down and you want to catch yourself. Um, yeah, the weight is just too high and the props are so small that it keeps going downwards instead of just stopping like a, more like a five inch wood. Um, and also it suffers from some prop wash and yeah, the wind term, turns it about. And it's all due to the power to weight ratio in my opinion. Also it's worth mentioning that I know I can switch to a CADEX Vista instead of the full DJI Air unit, but I didn't want to give up the functionality of actually um, losing the ability to record. And also I'm a bit skeptical about uh, the Vista since it gets so hot and what about the longevity? I don't know about that yet, so I just wanted to stick with the DJI Air unit. So there's two major changes here, going from the rocket to the new drone. One is uh, it went from two inch propellers to two and a half inch propellers, which is a huge difference. Um, and the second uh, is that um, I went to a lighter frame. So this frame that I used here is lighter than the actual initial rocket frame. And you see that size wise, it doesn't matter much. So yeah, it's a bit, bit taller maybe than this one, but uh, that's all. So, and those two changes really significantly change the behavior of the drone when you fly it. I stripped down the rocket and measured every single component and put it in a 3D software uh, inventor. Then I tried to look for um, the lightest possible frame uh, that could use two and a half inch props and still be able to use prop guards. Okay, so here you can see the drone all sketched out. Um, this allowed me to see actually that I need longer standoffs. I need 25 millimeter standoffs to fit the DJI Air unit um, and the gap RC 20 amp FC on top of each other. This cone that you see here represents the camera field of view and it allowed me to see if I would be able to get the props out of my view, yes or no. And you can see that from uh, 14 degrees of camera tilt onwards I don't have any props in view anymore. So I did a few configurations also um, before making this and eventually I came uh, to the best solution being this pusher. The rocket frame comes in at about, let's see, okay, 47 grams including prop guards. And if I take them off, we're down to 33 grams. Uh, for the rocket frame for two inch propellers while uh, this frame is the uh, Gepper C Phantom frame and it only weighs like 14.9 uh, grams I believe so that's already quite significant weight change here okay let me give you a walk around so here you see the air unit uh, I actually use double sided tape on the top here to stick it to the top plate um, and then I uh, use the zip tie uh, to mount the antennas, as you can see. So the antennas are at an angle. Um, here you see the camera, it just fits uh, between um, the standoffs here from the frame. And the frame is the Gepper C uh, Phantom frame, as I said earlier. Huh? Um, flight controller, yeah, it's hard to see. It's the Gepper C um, 20 amp all in one FC and ESC uh, F4 combination. Um, to mount the camera, I made some special brackets from aluminum and drilled a hole here, right here, uh, and of course there to mount the camera, uh, so we can still slightly tilt the, uh, the camera if I want to. Now it's tight clearance with the standoffs, here you can see that again. Um, 
Right. I made those pieces from a piece of uh, L-shaped uh, aluminum and used a file and a Dremel uh, and a drill to make it. Um, okay, the props I'm using are the Avan uh, Rush uh, props, two and a half inch. Yeah. I found these to be very smooth and they give me about six minutes of flight time when I'm just cruising. The alternative, you can also use the HQ Durable Prop uh, T2.5 by 2.5 by 3. I found these to be, yeah, equal, let's say, uh, considering mm, noise, smoothness, uh, and flight time. They're at the same level. Um, the motors are still the same ones as, as they were on the rocket. So they are the 1204s, uh, 5000 kV motors. Uh, okay. And here in the back you see, um, I just wrapped the, the, the cable from, from the air unit around the standoff a few times and of course zip tied uh, the battery lead. Yeah. Okay, there's um, mainly three difficulties in this build and that's um, one. Those brackets you will need to make yourself or come up with some 3D printed um, mounting um, bracket that maybe fits around the standoff here. Uh, two, when coming from the rocket, yeah, the arms are longer now in this frame, so you will have to extend the motor wires ever so slightly. And it's only on two of them, so yeah, keep that in mind. I just yeah soldered a piece of extra wire in between. That's unfortunate, but okay. Um, and the third difficulty is, yeah, you will have to um, reverse the motor direction and um, the motor addresses in beta flight uh, and in uh, BL Heli Suite um, because we went uh, now to a pusher frame. And yeah, so the, the, the props are pushing the air downwards and actually the, the props are below the motors as you can as you can see huh? the ideal battery to use for this um, uh, is the tattoo 650 milliamp hour um, 4s um, batteries you can see that they really fit um, nicely between the prop guards right um, so there's little play here but that's okay, you can strap it down tightly and then you connect the power lead uh, and it's, the battery is not, not going anywhere. And this is actually what the final combination will look like. You see the center of gravity is really, really good. So the battery, which, which is the heaviest thing, is in the plane of the props actually making this for a, a very stable flying machine. And also um, the weight is very well distributed uh, left to right and yeah, front to back. All right, let's look at the weight of this squad. 138 grams. Then with the Tattoo 650, coming in at 218 grams. So well below the 250 gram mark. So guys, in summary, this quad is, in my opinion, better in every way uh, than the rocket was. So it's lighter than the rocket. It has two and a half inch props instead of two inch props. Um, the center of gravity is super good on this quad, which means there's not a lot of uh, wiggles and shakes. Uh, it's really a better capable flying machine. It's way faster thanks to the two and a half inch props. It's, it's way better to catch itself uh, when you yeah, uh, dive. Um, so it's better capable of doing some ac acro with it uh, versus the rocket. Um, and the flight time is six minutes when you're just cruising versus four minutes on the rocket when you're cruising. I'm not really sure how the durability will uh, compare uh, from this one versus the rocket. Uh, it may be a bit worse since the arms became a bit longer. Um, but yeah, I've done some crashes with it already and uh, nothing broke, not even the prop guards broke, uh, which is crazy actually. And also 
if the frame breaks, it's actu actually really cheap frame versus the rocket frame. It's uh, much more expensive. So this frame from the Phantom, that's uh, I paid like like 15 euros for this. So it's cheap to keep a spare around. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of this quad in the comments and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Almost forgot, everything you need to build this quad is linked in the video description, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, don't forget to push the like and subscribe button and see you on the next one. Peace.